Yes, indeed. It's six o'clock and what a one day special you are in a treat for. With thousands upon millions of views now on watercolor.tv with these online tutorials. For not only these online tutorials that happen every single week, here at the craft store, we had nearly over, well, it was over 40,000 people trying to get hold of the craft along, the paint along craft along, the nine o'clock shows. Over 40,000 of you wanted to join in. And now we have a brand new book and DVD that you can't get anywhere else as your one day special. It is Matthew Palmer. Well, a very good evening to you. I hope you are well. As I said in my introduction, uh, the book, now we have the, we have the most of this book, okay? We have the most in stock of the book. You can get it uh, from, the, uh, from the SAA, but once it has gone, it has gone. Even at the publisher has not got this book in stock anymore, and it will not be back till the late summer. We are the only place you can get the book and the DVD together and look at the price you are looking at, 20 pounds and 50 pence today. But what is it all about? Well, the man is here himself. Uh, as I said in that introduction, he's known now worldwide from his website, watercolor.tv, with the online tutorials he does every single week on a Sunday. I think this week it's a vineyard uh, with a beautiful chateau as well. You can look at all that on the website. Over 40,000 of you wanted to try and paint along when we did the nine o'clock shows, and that's come from, from the highest of above, have told us the figures. Over 40,000 people wanted to paint along with the three colors in the kit that were on the website, and he's here himself as well. He's a very busy man, very, very busy. Uh, it's Al Matthew Palmer, how are you, bud? I'm good, I could do the sit down today. You are, you've been very busy. <laughs> you've been very busy. It's good. I love it. It's brilliant. I love splashing a bit of paint around. You can't go wrong, really. But, but no, you can't. But it's not when you're as good as you. <laughs> Me, it's a no, totally different story. But um, it is true what I say about the book, though, isn't it? The only, there's only a, a, a few amount that the SAA have now got hold of, and once they've gone, they've gone. Yeah, and literally, just before this live show, we was on the phone to the publishers to see when the next lot of stock or the reprint is coming in. And it's not till the summer, you know, sort of maybe late July time. So it's been two and a half years in the making, this book and DVD. It takes a lot of work to put a book together and the guys at Say It's Press do it in such wonderful style. So what we've got here is, let's call it the official launch of my new book, Animals in Watercolour, 32 projects, all step by step with a DVD. And I've got to say that when I saw the price as well, this is a cracking price. A it cracking, really it is. is. For 30 projects, with DVD on its own is over £15 is what you're looking at. And the DVD itself really does break down. Three projects is what you're going to get on the DVD. You're getting 85 minutes worth of tutorial. It's like a one-on-one -on -one is what you're looking at with this as well. All done in the sort of highest definition with all camera angles where you don't really miss anything with your lives and your DVDs. It's like you're literally sitting over your shoulder when you do all these. It is, and I just noticed I've got the same shirt on as well. That was meant to be. It was, <laughs> it, it, was, it, it was fate. It's literally like you've just recorded it. It's like I did it 10 minutes ago. Um, already, 10% of the stock has now already gone. Now, something slightly different with this book, which I, once again, I really, really enjoy because it makes it even easier. Ready to print in 30 minutes is what we're ready to paint in 30 minutes, but not only do you get the step-by-step -step guides in the book, you've also given us, in the first couple of pages, 
a sort of the tracing design so we haven't even got a learn to sketch you've done all that for us this is what makes this this book quite special and i've got to say folks this is such good value if you work out there's 32 projects and every single project as you can see here has got a, a tracing on a really good quality tracing really paper like, so every picture like the exact size of each picture is there for you um so you can trace it if you're not a sketch it you can trace it anything. and then you can go to the relevant number for example that one there is is like 13 13 go to it and then you've got the instructions how to paint it's such a clever concept when you can see why it took two and a half years to bring this one to market it is beautiful it really really is and uh, so then the three projects that you're getting on the dv are also in the book as well then you get more uh, in the book to choose from but then you'll be doing look at these this is all from taken from the book itself. These are what you're going to be creating uh, when you get them home. Twenty pounds and fifty pence today is what you're looking at. You've got an eight pound and nine pence saving. Two nine four nine one eight is your item number. Uh, there's not only you've got things like the Kingfisher. They look so realistic. Look at these. Absolutely stunning, and it and it really does go for every single brushstroke. But let me play devil's advocate with this. Maybe, um, and I'll ask Matthew the question, maybe you're not a painter, maybe you're a drawer and you use colour pencils as your medium rather than paint. Could you still follow the book and still get the, sort of the same technique, but obviously it would be in pencil rather than paint? Yeah, it does mention at the start of the book that, albeit a watercolour-based book, it's because you've got the templates, the tracings included, and you can see the colours quite clearly, and because it's search press, it, it's photographed every brushstroke in step-by-step -step detail. It gives you the confidence that you could use acrylic, gouache, oils, pencil, crayon. It all works. It all works. It really does. This is another one taken from the book as well. Uh, remember, you're getting so much in here. We're now 20% of the overall stock now has all ready gone we are seven minutes and 17 seconds into our first live hour and look at the detail in each one of these artworks they are stunning they really really are and um, maybe you're thinking well i'm loving this this is this is my port of call this is where i'm going to go this is what i want to do maybe you want to become a member of, of one of the biggest and more exclusive painting clubs that there is. There is, yeah. And this is the SAA we're talking about here. So the SAA is something that I've been uh, working with very closely with the guys at the SAA. Um, for about 15 years, I've been a member of the SAA since the 90s. Happy days before the internet. <laughs> eh? Can't go wrong, can you? Sharon's laughing as well over there. And <laughs> them, them were days them were when days. they were not internet oh. <laughs> um, but yes the SAA membership folks 45 pound for a year's membership what does the SAA give you it gives you artistic blood thrown in with your membership it keeps those that sounds exciting it keeps it does it keeps the artistic juices flowing that sounds even more exciting and if you join the SAA you get the inspiration to keep the paint flowing that's important but also you get this wonderful little membership pack and because we are here with a chander we give you something extra so if you join through the craft store not a chander who said a chander then there was like a voice up here somewhere <laughs> i'm new to this <laughs> it's my first day the craft <laughs> the craft store if you yeah if you join through the craft store website by clicking the link not by clicking out to basket is that still right that's right i got that bit <laughs> right yeah you get this wonderful um, joining kit, folks, which gives you actually three watercolours, um, primary colours, which is perfect to go along with your new book. If you've bought this new book, three colours, you can produce so much. We're going to give you some uh, blue, some orange and some red. These are primary colours. You can do so much with these and we'll give you this super duper bag. Now, I'm going to attempt live on TV to open this bag. Here we I go. Know, you can smell the fear, but what <laughs> we'll do is we'll show you this nice SA, SAA branded bag. It opens up, but it kind of opens up like four times its own size, which is a great little storage case for uh, your brushes, your paints, your palettes, your paper. Look at that. It's almost as tall as me. So this is That's included nice. as well as your paints as well. It's a great thing. I use these when I'm out traveling 
um, on, on things like painting holidays as well. So that's really cool. But you get so much more as a member of the SA because you get this wonderful um, membership pack which includes the huge home shop catalogue full to the rafters of discounted products because members get cheaper prices, free shipping as well which is nice. And I think for me, one of the big advantages of the membership is the fact that you get a subscription to this magazine called Paint. And Paint Magazine is a glossy mag that is full of step-by-step -step articles um, on painting, all the different mediums. And that gets sent to your door as well as a member. Plus, you now get access to the online world of the SA, which includes thousands of hours of video on demand. So something that's well worth checking out. It is having a checking out. Uh, now, there is only a slight catch with this, is you don't get it through us. Now, and that, what do I mean by that? And it's very rare we say stuff like that. So go jump to the website. You'll find it on the website. You do not add to your basket. Scroll all the way down and it will say to the, in the description, click here for the SAA membership. Click there and that will take you straight through. If you buy it through us, you will not get your freebies. Okay, you will not get them. It's worth having a little go and then you just click join now and then you become a member and all your details is what you're going to be doing with this. Uh, we are very, very busy for your one day special. Now a quarter of the stock has already gone and we've already told you, I think we've already told you, once it has gone, there is no magical phone calls with this. Once it has gone, it has gone. And they told me, I know how silly of them, how many we actually have. It's not that many. It is, in theory, we have enough to last over the hours, we think, but it's all we could lay our hands on. Uh, so if you want it and you're umming and ahhing, I wouldn't um and ah for long if I was you. £20.50, pence. you got an £8.09 pence saving on this one. Uh, 294918 is your item number. Our phone lines are very, very busy. Jump to the website, thecraftstore.com is the quickest and easiest place to go, or tap the app as well and pop it in your basket that way. Right then, shall we see what all, what all the fuss is about when we get through? Right then, Matthew, what are we up to? Um, let's chuck a bit of paint on. But I thought what might be quite nice is to have a quick flick through some of the projects. Can we do that? Let's we do it. We can do that, can't we? It's your we? show. We can do that. So um, here's the book. And I've got to say that I've wrote five or six books now with Search Press. And this was the one that took the most time and effort. Enjoyed every second of this because there's 32 projects. Just think about it. 32 projects for £20, 50 pence with the three projects that are on the DVD as well. If we start at the back, we can see we get these wonderful, this gorgeous uh, hummingbird here. And then we come through the beautiful snow leopard, those gorgeous eyes. This is Max here, oh. which is an old family dog. He's, he's, he's featured in the book. And then, of course, we go straight into the projects. Now, we can see here with the giraffe, it shows you the finished piece, but then it gives you the steps from 1 to 15. It photographs the brush. It gives you the detail. So you, can see, you start to see just how much time this has actually taken. Everything from robins on branches, stags in the woods, um, I love the elephant, that's, that's on the nice. cover of course. The penguins, the famous penguins, chocolate bars. And then we'll come here, we've got flamingos on the beach, we've got sheep in the field, cats here looking monochrome. Um, meerkat, everyone loves the meerkats of course. Um, it's not just, look at this rabbit, eh? That kind of sells it itself. And you, you, you've got your Alsatians, you've got your how to, how to sketch from photograph to uh, actual painting as well techniques involved in there. It's such a huge variety of subjects, folks. It's not just about, um, you know, wild animals. You've got your Jack Russell here as well, tigers. So it really is versatile. And then, of course, at the beginning of the book, the fact we've included these sketches just makes it really special. And there's 32 of those as well. And remember, you get the 85-minute DVD as well thrown in as part of the offer. So it's a it's a good opportunity. And as you were saying, we've not got a huge amount of these in stock, so it's well worth getting hold of them um, while you can. So what I've got here, um, kind of ready to do a, a bit of an animal sketch for you. I've got a sheet of watercolor paper, which I've stuck to a board, actually. Now, this is quite a large sheet of watercolor paper, so what is quite useful is to chop this in half or even quarters. And it's better to work on a smaller size sometimes. So if we go for this, then, of course, we get get two or of course you could do four as well it works but this is a standard watercolor paper um, and it's stuck 
to a piece of wood basically with some masking tape, okay? Now, with animals, you tend to do a little bit of sketching. It makes sense to sketch before you paint. And that's why in the book, we've included the tracings for you because it just makes perfect sense. But then the book does go into detail on how to actually sketch in as well if you needed to do that. So I've got a pencil. This is just a standard HB pencil. And I want to sketch in a flamingo. I thought we'd start off with something colourful and we'll do a flamingo. So how do we do a flamingo? What we do is we sketch in a bit of a, a, bit of a loose egg shape. Can't go wrong with that, can we? Hold your pencil quite loosely. And then we'll sketch in a bit of an S shape. And you can kind of see where we're going, can't you? Oh, yeah. So even at this early stage, it starts to make a simple, straightforward sketch, OK? But the book will take you through this. It will show you how to do this. It's not just about painting. <coughs> we'll make this wider at the top, and then we'll taper that around. And that kind of brings in the actual neck for us, OK? We'll pop the beak of the flamingo in, which kind of sort of drops down. I'm so sorry to chip in, Matt. It's so, so sorry. Um, I just got to chip in. It's going to be one of these shows, I feel. It's going to be one of these where I'm really annoying. And you just get involved, and then Muggins here pops up to tell you a third of the stock. A third of the stock has now already gone. A third of the stock, once it's gone, it has gone. £20.50. 294918 is your item number. Let's get back to demo. OK, so we've kind of filled in the beak a little bit there, which gives that nice impression of the flamingo. And then the back of the flamingo, you get the kind of nice sort of wings here. So I'll pop those in. It's a bit of a scribble, really. We can all do that. And then we'll pop the legs and the flamingo, which come down. We'll have one down and one on a slight angle as well. Right, so we'll pop a little bit of a V-shape at the top and the bottom of each one as well. So that's the flamingo. Let's paint it. Let's put some background in because the book is not just about painting an animal. Um, it's also about, you know, painted animals within the landscape, if that makes sense. For example, on the front cover, you've got this marching elephant against the African sun, which makes perfect sense. You know, it's nice to put these in a scene. So it's also a bit of a landscape um, picture as well, which is great. So as far as brushes are concerned, you can pretty much, every single painting that is in this book, you can do with two brushes. And here, we've got a size 10 brush, a round standard watercolor brush and a size six brush. But if you've got other brushes that you've purchased from me, maybe here at the craft store, you might have come across the blending blades possibly. I think we've got these actually on the show as well. Very nice for doing the detail in the skies. Details on the screen for the blending brushes at the moment, 12 pounds and 99 pence, 858707 is your item number for those numbers. And you've also got the branching detail brush as well, the beautiful fine one, which is beautiful for creating nice detail and I'll use these brushes to paint in this uh, flamingo as well. So let's use the large blending blade again this is available and we'll wet the picture now you can work any size any size you like on this you could do smaller of course if you're tracing from the book just trace it exactly at the size it is. So we'll work it down a nice wash of colour. Now this painting is not in the book but I, I thought we'd just do something animal themed and I like it. We're going to pop the water all through. I'm using one of the blending blades here. Or I could use a large, um, like a size 10 brush would do the same job. That's fine. So what we'll do here is we'll take some colours. Now, in the palette, we've got some, some pale red here. So this one is natural red. Again, this is available on the pick and mix, I believe. You can get three. Three colours? Yes, you can indeed. You can get any three colours that you want to get. There's loads to choose from. Head to the web. Uh, to, I was just having a flick through the book then. Uh, there's a flick to the website um, to have a look. You don't want to flick to the website. You want to go to the website. I was flicking through the book. Let's go back <laughs> to demo. So I'm popping some of the red there, very pale, because I want to get a bit of an evening sky to this one. So that's the red. We'll then take blue. So we've got blue-red, which is, is primary colours. It's primary colours. Natural blue is available as well. I'm pick a mix. We'll pop a nice bit of blue because you can't beat a bit of blue on an evening. We'll bring that in, and that'll give us the sky. Down here, let's pop in some horizontal lines to represent a little bit of the, a little bit of the ocean. 
shooting off into the distance. Brilliant. So if we just pop that there. So what we've painted so far, folks, very simple, is a sky with a pink at the bottom, blue at the top, and then we've popped in some horizontal lines because blending blades, when stippled, will go a little bit spiky, which makes perfect sense. And it's designed to do this so you can drag it across the paper and you get stripes, you get lines, which is good for the likes of reflections. If I pick up the smaller blending blade, and then we'll take some grey. Now, grey is always an important colour. It might seem a bit boring, but it's the colour of shadows. So if you look around the room, look under the chin, we've got a couple of grey shadows after lockdown. And <laughs> what we'll do is we'll pop some, we'll pop some grey here, natural grey. You can actually mix grey from your primary colours, red, yellow and blue, quite easily. Surprisingly. Well, you never knew that. And guess what? The Go book on. will tell you how to do it. It's all there for you, full colour mixing instructions with every single project. So if we pop in some distant sort of hills and cliffs just creeping through there, it's nice that the paper's still damp because it gives that sense of depth, that little bit of sort of out of focus kind of feel. We'll bring that in. And then again, we'll pop in some reflections of this. I've just been looking through the book at this sort of, at, it's not exactly this person, but th there is this sort of style in there. I think it's two flamingos in the cliffs in the background on a, on a beautiful beach. That's right, uh, exactly. But in theory, you could also, you could you not use that for your other skates? If you took the flamingos out, that could be any beach that you wanted it to be. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you can sort of work on this to whatever you, yeah, whatever you want to. And I think that flamingos are very popular animals, aren't they, in like sort of design and things at the minute in craft. So, um, yeah. Just nice things, really. Nice, colourful birds. And I do like painting birds, kingfishers. You know, if you look around the studio, you can probably see quite a few examples of bird paintings. It's, there's something nice about the feathers and that nice bit of texture. That's in there. What I'm going to do now, folks, is grab a standard brush. Here we've got a size um, six brush. OK, it's just a standard, everyday brush. Um, nothing fancy about this brush at all. And we're going to take some of the red and we'll pop the first wash on the flamingo. Now, apparently flamingos are pink because of what they eat, because of the diet. If they don't eat the shrimps, they turn like a whitey gray color. So it's the shrimp that makes them go that color, which is interesting. It is, so if they it's eat bananas, they'd be tonight. yellow as well. So whatever they eat, they would turn that color if they ate a kiwi, just saying. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Not very. Really, it's really. like when we were kids, when we used to say, if you keep eating chips, you'll turn into <laughs> one. It's a, bit, it's a bit like that. Exactly. It's, it's the, Look, it does work, though, you see, for flamingos. It's the they, same thing. They it's, eat shrimp. They it's look exactly like shrimp. the same. <laughs> so I want to put the first wash on, but because I'm using this nice cotton paper, folks, what's going to happen is the this is just a very loose first washer colour. And I'm going to pop this on very quickly, let it dry, and then we'll come back to it in a second. So I'm just going to pop this in down into those little, little sort of legs here. So very, very loose background wash. The paper is still nice and wet. Just gonna use a bit of water here on the brush, that's all. This is special water because it comes straight from the source of the taps over there in the craft store studio. Special arty water. Arty water. We have it piped in. On, uh, on Facebook, we, on the 1st of April, we tried a um, April Fools and was advertising RT, art water, watercolour water. <laughs> Not a single person believed us, if I'm honest, but it, we tried, we did try, we tried. So a nice bit of blender going off here, folks. And then very quickly, let's just pop in the reflection down here as well. So we'll bring it in from the legs here. So a little bit of reflection. And then what we'll do is we'll simply leave that to dry and we'll come back to it and we'll add lots of detail. Uh, we are phenomenally busy, phenomenally busy. Uh, almost 40% of our stock 
has now already gone. 20 pounds and 50 pence. 294918 is your item number for your brand new uh, Matthew Palmer Animals in Watercolour that you're looking at, along with DVD as well. Uh, ready to paint in 30 minutes is what you're looking at with this, with a stunning uh, three-part DVD, you could say, with this, that gives you everything in there. It breaks down three of the projects. So we're looking at the elephant. This is taken from the DVD that you're watching now. Uh, so it breaks them all down. It guides you through. It holds your hands. And the bonuses of the DVD as well, you can stop and start as many times as you want. You can rewind. You can fast forward. And once you have got the hang of learning the techniques, because remember, that's what you're buying into. You're buying into techniques. And once you've learned the techniques, you can sort of move your techniques to other areas of your design, to other areas of your painting. So if you like doing landscapes, the flamingos are on a beautiful sort of cliff with beach water. So the only one that I remember, because I've just looked at it. Uh, but you could then take that, and that could be anywhere in the United Kingdom, anywhere in the world that you want it to be. Just take the flamingos out uh, from there as well. You also get your tracing paper designs uh, that are just in the front cover for every project that's already in the book. We are very, very busy. Uh, 294918 is your item number. Something else that you might want to go hand in hand is our pick and mix that we've got on the show. This is any three that you can choose from, from here. You can go for multiples of three if you wanted to as well. It's entirely up to you. Um, 15 pounds and 98 pence is what you're looking at. 679967 is your item number. The top three that you're looking at now, so the yellow, the red, and the blue. If I take that one off a second, uh, the blue that's on the end, those were the three that were used along with the craft along that you may have seen over that were about nine o'clock uh, nine o'clock everything evening that you're looking there as well uh, they are your primary colors uh, that you're looking at so they're absolutely beautiful so you may want to go for these three and go back and watch go with your books as well uh, it's well worth having a little look at what you've already got as well uh, is your other colorways that you've got along the bottom um, you've got all the other colors that are in there so you've got your grays in there you've got your mauves your purples your greens uh, maybe you're just going to stock up use these for stocking up if you wanted to uh, Matthew if you had to pick three and you're just starting out you're going for the book you think well I'll get three of the paints as well because I've not got any of the paints which three would you say to go for so if you've never like painted before and you're starting out afresh and you've got three is your choice, I would go for the top row as you mentioned. I'd go for natural blue, natural red, natural yellow, primary colours. Now just remember that these aren't standard watercolours. These are colours that I've designed, um, manufactured by the SAA. So these are designed to replicate nature. So what we're going to give you here is natural blue for the sky, we've used it here. The red was what I used for the flamingo, so you can get pinks from it. And the yellow is lovely for skies, it's nice for stone walls, nice for sandy beaches. So that's a good collection. And from the three primaries, you can make dozens of secondary colours and you can go further as well. And guess what? The book will tell you how to do it. Can't the, go wrong. The book will tell you how to do it. It will break it all down for you. And once you've got your primary colours, you are good to go. So you're good to do those online tutorials uh, if you're going to go down that route as well. Get your book, get your paints, and then jump on every single Sunday. Vineyards this week, is it not? Um, Sunday the 9th of May, we have a, a beautiful uh, live virtual workshop. Head on over to watercolour.tv and click on the workshop tab. And guess what? 9th of May, we're painting the vineyards of France with Chateau. That'd it's only nice. a tenner. It's only a tenner. Can't go wrong. Nothing Can't to do wrong. with us, but I like to get it in. Uh, because, for the sheer fact, um, it, it's another progression in your journey. It's another stepping stone in your crafty journey. And once you've learned, you're going to go, oh, actually, I need something else. I need something. I, now I'm going to go for that. I saw Matthew using that. I'm going to try using it at home as well. Because there's nothing scary about this. It all looks quite scary until you break it down. And it really isn't. And I've learned that. I'm, I'm with you. I learned that the hard way. When they used to tell me, oh, you're painting along with Matthew, oh, I didn't sleep. I was like, what am I going to do? I can't draw, I can't paint. I can roughly use a colouring book and that's about it. But once you get going, you think, well, actually, there's nothing to be scared of. Once you've got the right tools for the job and a helping hand along the way, which is what we're giving you in the book and the paints that Matthew's designed, you're halfway there already and with your online tutorials as well. But maybe you don't want some of your brushes and your masking fluid. This is another step that's going to give you another step. So you're getting 
uh, your masking fluid marker. I remember launching this only a few months back. It yeah. brings a whole new meaning rather than using it in the part. It just makes it easier to hold. It does, and it's one of those... Um, it's one of those sort of innovations that I've been sort of saying we need for a long time and it's kind of appeared, it's kind of happened. And it's basically, it's masking fluid in a pen, but not a metal nib. This is an actual marker pen, so you can draw with it, which makes, honestly, the world of difference. These are really nice little things, these. And you get this, as well as some other exciting masking goodies. Yeah, you can see there. So you're physically right with it. You get the mask away as well, which is good for taking the masking fluid off. And we're also going to give you the masking fluid set of three brushes, which are a special brush designed for easy application of masking fluid. And for those people that aren't sure what masking fluid is, anything that's got white around it, like a sheep in a field, if we're talking about animals, or something that's lighter than the background, masking fluid goes on first. You paint it on, or in this case, you can draw it on, let it dry, paint away, use the mask away block to remove it, and it leaves like the moon in this picture behind me here, it will leave the white space of the paper, which is just a great way of doing it. And so if you go over with your colours, it's not going to turn that colour, because it is like masking an area off. It gives if it you think of it to be like sort of wax on a paper, it kind of repels it, but then the core cool thing is you can take it off and it leaves the paper behind. So if you're using pure white paper now, you're going to get that pure whiteness of the moon or of stars or of feather, whatever you want to be pure, that's it going to be, it's going to keep the same colour uh, that's underneath as well. And you also get the special brushes, which is designed uh, to work with it. 383923 is your item number, £13.99. And, uh, and then we've got another masking little, uh, little kit this time. Uh, brushes, again, uh, then this time you get a little bit of schminky though. Little schminky. Yeah, so here we're giving you some schminky aqua mod uh, aqua blah, 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 blah. schminky aqua <laughs> modeling paste, which is a mouthful, but also it's really good. It's like a it's like a primer, so you can put it on your surface if you watercolor paper, let it dry, and you can paint over it. But because it's a primer, you can use it on tile, wood, slate, um, glass, and you can paint over the top of these surfaces. It's like a nice textured primer. We're gonna give you the brushes, the fluid, and one of my favorite little um, tools to have in the art box is palette knives for scraping away colour for rocks, texture, trees and branches. It is worth and you get all the different shapes and designs in there as well. £19 and £99, well worth popping into your little book as well. Uh, in with your book, if I was you, I'd definitely be thinking about some of these. 341879 is your item number. Up next, um, now, I remember doing these as well. These are another set of brushes that once you get them in your life, it opens up a whole new world to what you can also do. Uh, you're now creating movement uh, with these brushes. These are the fan task brushes uh, set that you've already got in there. Now you're getting all three sizes uh, that you're getting in here. I know, and you're getting the DVD to show you how it all works as well. Now I know our Catherine, when our Catherine does show, she will, she will back me up when she says this. Um, she bought, she, she buys everything that Matthew brings. She's literally, she's got no time to do any of it, uh, but she buys the lot because she absolutely adores uh, painting and she's very very good at it uh, but she went for these brushes and she loves them she absolutely loves them because it opened up as I said it opened up a new deal for her to sh for new techniques and that's it what did. these brushes do because you are designing the brushes yeah so these sold out last time we was in and we launched them in the new year here as a new brush and one of the big reasons for these brushes and the DVD talks about it is for painting animal fur again a perfect addition to today's um, one day special with the book and the DVD. So you can use the tip of it to get light, a light sort of textured fur effect. Flowing water, pine trees, really cool. And again, because we're giving you the DVD and I don't think you can get the DVD and brush it anywhere else. I think it's exclusive to a channel, I want to say that, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. So it's exclusive sure it. to the craft store. I don't know who this other place is. That's he keeps talking about. Uh, it's exclusive to the craft store is what we're looking at at the moment. And last <laughs> but no means least, uh, you need a decent palette. You really, really do. Uh, and once you've got a decent palette in your life, uh, it's easy clean and it's big as well. So you can do all your mixes. You're not sort of mixing a small color in a, in a tiny little color. It is, and this is the one I'm using today, folks, as well. Good price, got the lid and loads of mixing space, easy clean because it's got a nice silicon surface and no corners. Which is what we like, £9.95, well worth popping in if I was you. 936824 is your item number. Maybe you're also going to pop it. Now, don't pop it into your basket. 
uh, join through them. Scroll down. You may want to join the SAA as well. Uh, for the sheer fact, once you've joined, you get those freebies of that little goodie bag, the fold-out goodie bag, where you can put all your little goodies in there. And you also get your three colours as well. You get that exclusive magazine uh, where you can buy things at half the price that you'll see them out on the retail floor. I know, uh, once again, it's our cat, always our Catherine. She bought an easel from there. And it was half the price that you see it anywhere else. Um, I genuinely think she keeps us in business. Uh, but... <laughs> Oh my word. So, the one day spec. Oh, yeah, by the way, SAA joined now. It's well worth having a little look at. Uh, let's get that in. Uh, but 50% of my overall one day special stock has now gone. 50% of the overall stock has now already gone. You're getting the book and the DVD. Um, the publisher themselves, who actually print the book, haven't got any. We had a vast amount, and now, now half the stock has already gone. Just say, let's all. Uh, should go back to demo. Let's see where our flamingos at. At the minute, it's kind of a mixture between Skegness Beach and <laughs> and somewhere in North Wales. I think I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Global warming. That's what that is. That's what it is. Global <laughs> right warming. There. Um, okay, so it's dry. Let's start to add some detail down to the palette. We've got the same brush I had before, which is a standard brush. Um, in fact, actually, I'll tell you what, no expense bird. Let's move over to the branch and detail brush. Um, again, these are available. Um, a brush designed for detail, but it actually has got this kind of reservoir area that holds colour. So we'll load this nice pink up here. And you know what? It's like having a pen in your hand. It looks a little bit like a penguin, can you see? Oh, yeah, Which fits in perfectly with yeah. today's theme. I see what you've done here. It's all like scripted, isn't it? It is not show. thrown together, these no, shows, are they? Put a lot of time into this. I'm going to work as way. Well. It's two hours. We're going to work as way well round, and we're going to sharpen up this flamingo. So bring it round here again. I'm using red, but it's not a normal red. This is a, it's natural red, which is more of a pink. It's more of a pink colour and I can really go in and shape this thing around here, get the detail in, rest on your paper. These are lovely tools, folks. If you've got these already, I'm sure you enjoy them. People love these very popular brushes for painting because once it's loaded up with colour, you don't have to reload every few seconds. That's all part of the... That's all um, what the brush is designed for because a standard detail brush is what we call a rigger brush, which was... It's named after the rigging on boats, and it's just a pointer here. Now that pointer here is inside this brush, but we've surrounded it with this hair, which means it holds the colour, and it kind of feeds the tip. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a... I always compare it to the old-fashioned fountain pens you used to dip in the ink. It kind of holds a reservoir holds of colour. It's like having a really sharp pencil. It is, yeah. And if you hold it like a pencil as well, it, it takes a lot of the fear away that people sometimes have um, about painting so we've popped that in we're going to add some detail around here pop a few little random marks and flicks and and then we'll do some blending in a second so i've basically sharpened up this this flamingo here down into the legs clean the brush and we've got some kitchen paper paper towel whatever you call it in your part of the world and then we'll use water to give it a bit of a blend. So I'm just basically scrubbing the colour so it becomes part of the picture, which is quite nice. Lovely. And then we'll start to do some detail work on the beak in a minute. I'm just going to bring this down towards the water here. And just while I've got some of this colour hanging around in the palette, I've got some of the blue, which we used for the sky again, the natural blue. Let's pop in some some of the little rings that you see, you know, in the water. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, when you throw pepper in. Ever decreasing circles. It looks amazing. So, that little bit of, little bit of ring that kind of, like, they just kind of walked in the water, obviously. And, of course, we can drop in a few other little bits and bobs of ripples around as well. Now, what's interesting about this is that people have been taking the paintings from the book and like you said, actually putting them in your own pictures because it's each project is designed to be done in roughly 30 minutes. But of course you can do so much more that, than 30 minutes with it. Well, you could add more landscape to it. You can increase on the size of the picture, which is a great way of working actually. 
Well, it is because you've got things like the sheep in a field, uh, then you've got like flamingos in the water with your cliffs, uh, then you've got your penguins and your mountains, but if you took the penguins out, they could be any sort of cliffs that you want them to be. Then you've got the sort of your elephant uh, on your setting as well. You've got your birds on your branches. You've got your deers and your trees uh, that you're getting in there. So you are getting so much more than just animals in this book. You, you really are. Absolutely, yeah. It's a lot of time goes into the planning of these books, and you wouldn't believe, I mean, like sort of two and a half years, and when a book actually finally appears, it's, it's a great feeling to see it, you know? And this one's been very, very popular, which is, is always, it's, it always kind of amazes me that people actually like my kind of painting and my kind of teaching because I think it's nice and easy to follow. And hopefully that comes across in the book as well. It does come across in the book. Um, and over the course of the past seven years, eight years, I've wrote um, six watercolour books. And one of them is actually um, one of Search Press's top five selling books of all time. It's the absolute beginner book. So obviously people do really like the books. I think I might have it on the show actually. Look how nice that shadow creeps in. Can you see? I've, yeah. I've put the grey in there. That's the, the natural grey from the pick and mix up. I popped it just at the back of the neck, but can you see how it brings the neck down into the body? And also just lightly tucking it around the head as well. It gives that little bit of detail. So if I take that same grey, um, because there's a little bit of dark on a flamingo. Again, this is natural grey, folks. You can buy it pre-mixed in the pick and mix, or the book will tell you how to mix it from the three primary colours, which is always important. And there's a nice bit of darkness on the backs of the wings of flamingos. So I'll pop those in. Again, I'm just using that one brush, the branching detail brush which as the name suggests is designed for branches, but it works just Detail. like a pencil end of the day. It's a really nice little thing to use. Pop a few shadows down here as well. So in theory, you could go for the book, go for your three primary colours and your two brushes as well. So your detailed brush and then your, um, uh, blending, your blending blades brides as well. And you're good to go. You are, yeah, exactly, yeah. Because there's a large and small um, branching detail brush. This one's the small one which is for the super fine detail. And you get them both in the set. Is it, is it 19, is it 19.99 for the set of two? Um, and it'll last you a lifetime, it really will. Nice quality brushes. So very nice for this kind of work. Look at that flamingo. Let's get the beak in folks. But you know what? I want to give that 30 seconds just to dry and then we'll come back to it. Uh, so while we let that uh, give a little dry in the middle, over half the stock now has already gone. Over 50% of the stock has already gone here. Do you want to go through? Should we have a little flick through the book? I will I'll hold it. Shall I hold that? We'll go there, look. Uh, so you're getting um, the tracing paper at the start of the book as well. It shows every single design, the numbers according to the pattern, what's already in there. And you get so many uh, in here as well. This is what I was talking about, about the designs uh, that you're getting all the way through for the sheer fact you get things like the monkeys, you get the birds in there. Uh, these are the backgrounds uh, that I was talking about. So you're getting all those beautiful backgrounds. And then you also get the cat uh, sitting on the wall. Uh, which I absolutely adore. Uh, from there, you actually get into the book itself. So then, uh, this is where all the projects start coming in. How to do those beautiful backgrounds uh, that you've got, how to do uh, taking drawings, uh, portraits from actual fo uh, photos uh, that you've already got at home, how to do the Asian elephant that's in there. Everything is in the book that you are going to need, but not only do you get the book, you also get three projects in DVD form as well. You're getting 85 minutes uh, that's on there. So it's 85 minutes of three projects that you're looking at from start to finish on how to use uh, everything. So maybe you've already got stuff in your collection already that's in there. By the look of it, we're looking here. We're looking how to use masking fluid. Uh, so that's also used on some of the animals as well that you've got there. So if you want to go for the masking fluid and you're going for this, it's going to show you how to use it uh, correctly and how to use it properly. £20.50 for the DVD and the book as well. And as I said before, we now are the sort of the only place with the, the amount that we had to start with. Um, the publisher, they've sold out. They've got no more. And there's not many other places uh, that you can get them from in this sort of quantity that you're looking at. 20 pounds, 50 pence, 294, 918 is your item number. Right then, I think everything is dry. Let's go back and finish our flamingo. Brill. So nice to bring some detail in, of course. 
adding the gray makes such a difference um, to this picture. And if we have a quick flick, we can see there is a couple of, in fact, on the back of the, of the book actually, is a, a um, beach with cliffs and of course the three flamingos there marching in from the beach. But again, that is one of the step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, as well as the 32 projects detailed, you get pages of inspirational artwork like here, flamingos on the beach, like the uh, butterfly on the daisies as well. So there's so much more to the book than um, just the 32 projects. Like here, for example, just a page of inspiration for you, just to enjoy and copy if you, if you wish as well. Um, also, something I was very keen on doing, I just want to mention this, the book is actually dedicated, I'll read this to you, because maybe you'll like this. So it's to Adam. Oh, you should know. <laughs> it's to the craft store, or is it Chanda? <laughs> um, the book is, this book is dedicated to Skip, Sid, Polly and Max, my old pets, I want to mention them, and all those pets we've lost over the years. Oh. So it's dedicated to all the pets we've lost as well. So it's something that you need to get, because it's a great way to remember all those loved pets. Because remember, it's not just about wild animals, birds, it's also about cats, dogs, and uh, you know all those feathered friends, parrots and penguins and everything. Um, okay, so yeah, flamingo then. So it has a very pale beak, a very pale pink beak. So using the branch and detail brush is perfect for this. And just going to pop in a very light colour. So just going to pop in the colour for the minute. It's a very light colour, but what we'll do is, because watercolour is wet into wet, if we pick up a nice, strong, natural grey on the detailer, and then you always get that lovely black tip on the flamingo's beak, but if we drop it in, it natural while blue. it's wet, you can see, can't you? It instantly turns it into that flamingo. Um, straight away and then we can actually just surround that with a bit of dark and just pop, pop any final bits of shadow into that. We'll come back to the beak in a few seconds and we'll pop in some, we'll pop in the eye in some detail. But what I thought we'd do just briefly is just grab some pale grey and just come back to this distance actually with the um, blending blade because it's all nice and dry. We're just going to paint in a little bit more work on the distant hills, cliffs, or whatever you want to call them, mountains. So I'm just going to make it a little bit darker, just in a few places here. And then, because it's a blending blade, it allows us to reactivate the colour very easily and blend it away. So we'll give that a bit of a soften like so, which is really nice. And uh, we'll probably pop in some slightly darker ripples in the foreground with grey, sort of over the top of the Flamingo, because it's watercolour, it's transparent, so you can easily do this, which works nice. Uh, grabbing the detail brush, which has still got the dark grey from the beak. And we'll just ever so lightly sort of add a little bit of detail to that edge. And that'll give us the impression of, you know, sort of distant land, trees, etc., just hanging around at the back. We'll pop in some birds. This one's a bearded chuff, we'll pop that in. <laughs> the book will teach you how to paint a bearded chuff in step-by-step -step detail. So you've got your bird, I mean, it, it just adds something, it adds a bit of life, don't it, to it. And then of course we'll add a little bit more work on those nice, those nice little rings. So it just gives that nice impression as though, you know, they're walking in the shallow uh, water there, which of course these guys do. And Did you take this from a photo that you'd taken or is this from your... Okay. Because I know you go out and about and take actual photos and yeah. stuff. Yeah, do you want to know my secret? Go on. I got, a photogra I got a photograph of flamingos from a place which I'm sure some of you know, Flamingoland. <gasps> Shout out to Flamingoland. Got some photographs. You've never heard it's, of Flamingoland? Oh, you've never lived. It's, it's a theme amazing. Park. It's up north. It's a theme park. Roller coasters, flamingos, elephants. Lots of the images from the book are actually taken from there um, as, as a like reference photograph. There's, there's um, you know, it's a zoo basically. So. It is. Yeah, as well as a theme park. 
Shout out to that. Okay, let's pop the <laughs> eye on, which goes just about here. A little dark spot. Brings the flamingo alive, which is always good. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit of dark just underneath here and just that little bit of line. You do now know you're going to get a lot of watercolour people just sitting outside of that well-known theme park just waiting for you to turn up. <laughs> when we say go to Flamingo Land and paint theme, um, flamingos, that's not actually painting flamingos, that's pictures of them. Just take photos. Just of them to make the sure, yeah. You don't want to put any paint on them. <laughs> flamingo Land's had to close because there's 30,000 people sitting outside the flamingo enclosure <laughs> painting. It's a great place. Yeah. Love it. Right, I'm just going to pop a little shadow on the, on the neck here. Yeah, that's them giving a plug as well. We're doing well tonight. Have I mentioned the workshop on Sunday? You've not mentioned the workshop <laughs> on Sunday, 9th of May, watercolour.tv, painting the chateau <laughs> over in France. Chateau in France. French vineyard. And, but on a serious note, that is with Matthew. That's not just a video he puts on. That is with... Uh, it's it's an online tutorial. It's, it's an online step-by-step -step guide. And you don't need much for it, do you? Three colours. The three colours we've been talking about. Your primary colours? Primary colours and a couple of brushes and you've cracked it. Could you, you use the same three brushes that we're using for this picture? Absolutely. Ah, there you go. Look, all ties in beautifully. That gets say, it's all that scripted. It's all, it's all <laughs> scripted. That's watercolour.tv. OK, I'm just going to pop that little bit of extra shadow. And you know something? I think we have a finished flamingo marching in amazing. the water. And that was a pleasure. It's nice to paint the animals. I really do like doing them, folks. And again, have a go folks get hold of the book because once it's gone from here it's out of stock until around july time um it's being reprinted as we speak but here's a thing to mention the version that we're giving here is actually a first edition it's the first print of it so that's something we should have mentioned at the beginning i forgot we should have done. But there you go first uh, edition so you're getting a first, first edition, edition book is what you're actually getting you're getting the dvd as well everything in there is genuine and that's what i was asking about why uh, where where does it all come from uh, because it all comes from uh, it all comes from photos it all comes from uh, real images it all in this case it comes from a very well known uh, it comes from a well known zoo uh, Flamingo Land, that's where it's all from. It's, it's from a well-known place. Uh, but and almost 60% of the stock has already gone. In theory, this could sell out today. I don't know what they're going to do tomorrow, um, but that, that's down to them to worry about. Uh, but at the moment, you're one step ahead of the curve. If you want to get yours tonight and you're thinking, oh, I'll wait till tomorrow, I'll wait till they're on tomorrow, I'll wait till Hayley or Yanis or Paola's on, I'll, I'll buy it there. It may go before then. Uh, remember, you've got Catherine coming up with this later as well, and she is into this. She's into the world of painting. She's probably already bought it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put it out there. No doubt she would have done. And when she done the show, she definitely will, uh, because she loves the world of painting. Loves the world. Just to end the sentence there. Uh, she loves the world of painting, and uh, she's really gotten into it as well. And it really breaks everything down for you. Uh, and you're also getting the DVD, which you're currently watching at the moment, uh, which does. It's like being in the room with Matthew over his shoulder uh, watching what he's doing. Uh, 20 pounds and 50 pence is what you're looking at. 294918 is your item number. Uh, maybe you're liking this, sir, but you want to become a, a member of the SAA as well. Do not buy it from the website. It's do not get it from there. What you need to do is scroll down to the link. Once you've scrolled down to the link on the website, uh, from there, just click on the website. Um, it's quick and easy that way. And then you also get your freebies. You get all the freebies included, which is your case, which really is, it's worth it. It's in an amazing little case. It is, and, and I think the retail price for that case is, you know, it's not all that far off the actual membership. Plus we're giving you the three uh, colors as well. So this, along with your um, book and DVD. You know, it's a great thing. And the gifts are worth over 45 pounds, actually. So it's a really cool little setup. Three colors, we've got the case that, that it uh, opens out four times its size, plus all these wonderful goodies. Remember, you get the magazine to paint. Remember, you get the shop catalog, you get discounts, you get a book on watercolors here, you get five pounds to spend in the catalog, and you get access to the online community of the SAA which includes hours and hours of video on demand. And many of them are of you, are they not? Yes. You see? 
You at see? least 20 minutes of me. Uh, 20, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there is loads, and it's, well, and it's worth becoming a member if I was you, uh, for the sheer fact you are opening up a whole new world. You really are, and there's all hints and there's tips on there. Uh, but if you want hints and tips and you want somewhere to start, maybe you don't want to jump straight in, you want to dip your toe in the water, this is the best place to start. You're getting a full-on book a full book with tracing paper images as we open the book out. So the designs are there for you. You can't do things freehand. Everything's been done for you. Then as you flick through the book, you get a step-by-step -step guide, a guide on how to blend colors, a guide on how to start drawing, a guide on taking that well-known photo that we all know and love of that famous, of, the, of your famous cat, or the famous, it might not be famous at all, but it's famous to you. It's famous to you is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, but that well-known cat that you've got, that you've loved for years and years, that may not even be yours, that might be next doors, but you really love it. And you think, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint that. I wish I could paint. Well, now you can, because everything, it made sense in my head. Uh, it, all in the book. Let me show you, I've only got three more to show you. Uh, that's actually from the book itself. Uh, so you've got things like uh, the woodpeckers that's in there. And from them, uh, see, the famous cat uh, in the bag. Let the cat out of the bag. Uh, from there, we've also got the tiger. All these could be sitting on your wall as well. Matthew, if people are sitting and umming and ahhing at home going, oh, I'll wait till later and get it then. I'll, I'll see what they say over the next couple of hours. What would you say to those people? I'd say that it's a case to get it while you can, folks, because it looks like it's going to be a popular one, this as well. Remember, it's brand spanking new, you know. Two and a half years worth of hard labour, enjoyable labour has gone into this book. And it's obviously a very popular product, folks. People love the animals. I love painting animals. One of my favourite subjects. But you also get the landscape as well. And if you work out the maths on this one, Adam, 32 projects. Yeah. 32 projects plus the three on the DVD. So th 35 projects. 35 um, projects. How much does that work out per Divided project? Divided by 20 pounds 50. Uh, 58 per project. Very impressive, very impressive. So there you go, 58 pence per project with the tracings, folks. All you need is a couple of colors, a couple of brushes, and a bit of paper and a bit of water, and you've got yourself a complete watercolor course. And this is a first edition as well. It's worth having a little look at. If it was me, I would be going for the books. I'd go for 60% of the stock is already gone. I'd go for the three primary colours. I'd go for the two lots of brushes as well, which would take you over that £60 mark, which means you can split the cost onto two interest-free, flexible payments. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. Matthew will be back throughout the evening next time uh, with our Catherine. Uh, remember, though, start checking out your baskets for this. And if you want to go and have a little look, watercolour.tv, have a little look now. Uh, why? Well, don't leave me. Do it later. Do it this evening as well. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next hour. Don't go anywhere.